Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim for another seed discovery video. This one is for the Ashlands update. This is, I think, our second or third one for Ashlands. So we're definitely up and running with the new update. Um, this one, the Maypole is set back a little bit from the water. It's not one that I would normally do. However, this one was recommended to me by somebody on Reddit. Um, and so we're going to do a deep dive here. The bosses are in pretty good location. And this particular little village with the Maypole is actually not too bad. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So here, there's the maypole. Um, it's set back in the village. You can see there's a, you know, one of those old little um, styes over here. This is I, usually you find like a little pigsty building here. There isn't one. Some boars running around. There is a deer spawn right here, which is nice. Um, one of the some of the positives of this particular village are is as you can see there's a beehive right there so you can get a queen bee there's one seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve raspberry bushes which are nice um you've got some outbuildings here as well you're not super far away from the ocean it's right there okay um it's not right on the water, though, which is normally what I look for. It's not a huge run down there. You've got some mushrooms here, which are nice. Got another beehive, which is right over there. So you've got two queen bees. You've got mushrooms. You've got your raspberries. You've got deer spawn, and you've got boars running around. Um, this is going to be everything that you need to get started. Okay, and you've got a maypole. Okay, now the good news is, is you can get over here. Well, you can't, you can run to it, but I, I went into cheat mode and we're going to look at the, the, um, the sea discovery map in a minute, which actually, by the way, has changed quite a bit, um, for the better, I might add, but we'll check that out in a minute. So you got your maypole, um, people often ask me on the channel and on Reddit when I post these, you know, why do I just do maypole content? Now, there's a couple of reasons. The first reason is, is the maypole is the only unique structure in Valheim that does not appear on every map. Everything else, boars, bone mass, um, the portal hubs, uh, the drakes in the mountains, they appear on every single map. The only thing that doesn't appear on every single map is a maypole. It's the one unique item in Valheim. So I decided to concentrate on that. Also, the other thing the Maypole does for you, it gives you plus one to your rested bonus. Now, the rested bonus is an important bonus when you're going up against bosses. This, The Maypole, when you rest near a Maypole, will give you uh, an additional minute on your rested bonus. Is it essential for to play Valheim? Absolutely not. You do not need a Maypole to play Valheim at all. It's just cool. They're out there. It's cool to find them. It's very unique. So that's why we do it. Anyways, this little village, uh, I mean, I, th look at for the village itself on the uh, to build an aesthetic. It's not great. However, if I were doing a full playthrough, this is exactly the type of village I would want to get. I've got multiple food sources very close. It's build, you know, it's a decent build location. Um, the water is fairly accessible. It's not super close, but this is a nice village to build in. This is going to be great for somebody just starting Valheim out. Uh, you know, you've never played the game before and you're just looking for a place to kind of get started. You you know, you're, you're learning everything. This is perfect because you've got everything you need to get started right here. Now, remember with these boars, uh, you want to get these fenced in as quickly as you can. One of the first things you may want to do is uh, build a fence around here. Get these boars in there get them breeding even you want to get them domesticated even if you don't have the um uh, the butcher knife to slaughter them okay anyways it, it's not a bad map you know where there's 
this seed is going to shine is in the map. And you're going to see that now because we're going to take a look at it. So, oh, let me get that full screen if I can. Okay, I can't. That's okay. So, here is the spawn. Okay. Here's the maple. You're going to be able to run to this. Now, you're going to have to go through a bunch of uh, black forest. You'll be able to survive. I'm confident of that. Um, like I said, it's not near the water. Now, remember, on the Valheim Seed Discovery map world, I can never remember the, the website, World Valheim World Generator <laughs> website, um, things look further away than they really are. It's just, it, it's not that far from the water, but it's not on the water. Now, one of the nice parts about this particular starter area is, is you've got everything here except for the mist lands and except for ashlands ashlands will always be in the south there's nothing we can do about that okay but um you've got all the biomes that you're going to need to get going here and this maypole is actually not in, in the worst location because as you're going to find out this is where the seed gets better when we look at the bosses and the trader okay so this is why it was recommended to me and this is why we're doing it um elder bone mass motor yagloth and of course ichthyr by the spawn um all your bosses uh, you know until you get to the queen are here now you are heading north which is counterintuitive to where the ashlands is ashlands is down south here but what we also have down south is we've got another clump of them right here which are close however for an early speed run, this is perfect. You've got the Elder, you've got Bone Mass, Motor, and Yagloth right here. And if we look up to the north just a little bit, there's the Queen. So we've got really early, we've got access to the bosses early. Um, it, it, this is pretty solid. Now, when we add in the Traders, I'm going to do both of them. There's a Haldor. Okay, you've got two Haldors here that you can get access to right away. Those are very, very close to your Maypole location. That's another reason why I decided to do this video because normally I only do Maypoles that are very that are right on the water. But because you've got the bosses and because you've got Haldor really close, this Maypole location is actually very desirable. And the Hilder, it's not bad. Um, you're gonna have to get in a boat to get to the Hilder. However, you're not gonna have to go too far. There's a Hilder up here. There's two of them down here. So it's not like you're gonna have to sail all over creation. You can't run to the Hilder. Um, that would make it, you know, an even better seed. Although I'm not sure what the distance is up here, but I, I try to avoid the planes until I'm ready to hit the planes, right? Um, so okay you're gonna be here chances are you're gonna have a boat location somewhere a port somewhere over here you just sail up to this hilder or if, or if need be you're gonna have to come over here and sail over to one of these this one's right on the coast it's not bad but you've got a lot of planes here and this one's flanked by planes as well these hilders are okay um but because they're so close to the planes remember one death mosquito if you come here very early is going to ruin your day but it is what it is now that in and of itself, where these the trader locations are, the the early bosses in comparison to the maypole, this is making this about a, a seed is about a nine. Okay, in my opinion, it's not bad at all. But let's take a look at some of the dungeons. Now you can see the map generator has changed the way they've done it. Um, you now have these. Uh, you can select. So the burial chambers are the black forest. And as you can see, we've got a whole bunch by this maypole. There's a bunch of crypts here. Okay, and there's a bunch by this elder as well. Fantastic. Even by the spawn when you're coming out of it, you've got a whole bunch you're going to pass through to get here. So you're not going to have any trouble getting enough circling cores, getting your early um, black forest uh, materials at all. There's plenty of chambers around the maypole. So, And by this elder up here, there's plenty. So... Black Forest is a, is definitely a 10 out of 10 on this seed, especially the ones near you. That's what you want to see. Sunken Crypts. Well, ideally, we want a whole bunch by this bone mass. 
There isn't. However, there's enough. There's four up here. There's one here. Um, this one is actually very good because it's a small swamp. You'll probably be able to farm up some or... Let me rephrase. You'll be able to farm up quite a bit of your uh, materials necessary from the swamp. Now, it's true that in Valheim, you need a lot of iron. Because you, there's a lot of things that you're going to want to build for with iron. You're going to want the hatchet. You're going to want, um, I can't remember the name of the hammer, the two-handed hammer. You're definitely going to want the nails to build your, your uh, higher-end boats, etc. So one crypt isn't enough. However, in here, you're probably going to find leeches. You're going to find ancient trees. You're going to find other resources. And then as you travel up to this bone mass, you've got four here. And you've got a bunch over here. The swamp location's okay. It's not great. We'd like to see more, but, it, you know, it's not the end of the world here. You're going to be sailing probably over to this location. Well, you may sail over to this location anyways, this area to get this Hilder that was right here. It really depends on which way you go. So the bone mass is, eh, it's all right. Frost caves. Now, there's plenty over here on this um, on this motor mountain location. This is actually a very large mountain biome because of the way it stretches, okay? Um, you're going to be able to, to, to get all of the materials you need out of this mountain location that's making this motor an excellent location. Now, a couple of things that we want to see, though, with the frost caves is number one, we want to see, are there any tetra lakes? There are. There's two of them by this mountain biome. So right away, this mountain location right by your base that you can run to, this is a this is uh, a 9 out of 10 so far. Now we need to see the eggs. And I can't remember where they put them now. We need to see the boss items. Yeah, we need to see that. As you can see, there's plenty of dragon eggs up here. And they've changed a bunch of the icons on the map generators. It's taken me a minute to get used to it. But you can see here, you're going to need three eggs to spawn motor. What you want to see is you want to see the eggs right by the motor. So you don't have to drag them around because they're pretty heavy. And they don't go through portals unless you've changed that setting in your server play in, in your, on that particular seed or if you are using a mod so this mountain location is a 10 out of 10. So we've got an, a very good elder, elder location slash black forest. We've got a mediocre to below average swamp. And we've got a very good mountain location with motor. Um, you know, so far not bad. But let's take a look at the Yagloth. Okay, here's the Yagloth here. Now, what we want to see is the totems, right? So, you need five totems to reassemble Yagloth. Okay, so we want to see at least five camps in this general area. If we can run to them, that makes this a 10 out of 10. We'll see. You've got four here and one up here. It's not bad. You're going to be up here anyways doing... Um, doing motor okay you're going to be up here doing uh bone mass there's one totem goblin camp and there's four more here it, the interesting thing about yagloth i've looked at lots and lots and lots of seeds and it's not it, it's rare to find yagloth surrounded by four or five camps that are very close by that you can just quickly swoop in do the camps and and, and do Yagloth. It's very rare. I don't know why, because sometimes, um, like with motor, you're going to find dragon eggs really close to the spawn, uh, the motor spawn. You don't usually find that with Yagloth. So is this horrible? No, it's actually very good. I would say this is a nine, though, nine and a half. If this camp was down here somewhere or by this Yagloth, it'd be a 10. Because what you want is, is you want if you know where 
the boss spawn is, you want all the requisite materials for that biome very close to the boss. So we don't have to travel all over the place to find shit. Um, this Yagloth has it. But let's take a look and make sure, because the other thing that we want to find by the Yagloth is, we want to find... Um, the tar pits now where the hell would that be they they've they've changed some of the stuff around miscellaneous shipwrecks treasure leviathan no nope. it's not the runestone other structures i don't want that huh i don't know where that is now but what we want to see here also is tar pits, and I can't find them. I'll look later when I do a, uh, when I'm researching other seeds. I'm not going to go through that now to suck up time on the, on the video. But yeah, not a bad Yagloth location. So let's talk about the queen. We're probably going to go north here. This is the, the queen we're going to play. However, at some point, we're going to want to head south to the Ashlands, right? Now, there's a Yagloth down here that's pretty good as well. Um... The, the, the issue down south is, is you don't have a lot of great queen locations down here. You've got one over here. Um, and we need to get to the Ashlands and Fader, which I'm going to discuss a little bit in a minute. Um, but for the queen, my play is to the north. And that's what we're going to forecast out here and see how it looks. So let's take a look at some of the queen stuff. Um, now again they've redone some of this so you're going to have to re bear with me as I kind of go through it um, oh there, there that's where the tar pits are okay let's jump back and take a look at the tar pits real quickly okay there's plenty of tar pits by the Seattle so again yeah that's that's good good news um There's the giant skulls and the giant scrap. It, okay, there's a couple here by the queen, which is good. Um, the seal breaker pieces, which is... Yeah, there's a few. There's a few towns by the queen. There's this one right here, though, which is really nice. Um, overall, I think that this is a pretty good queen location. All right, there are the tar pits. Um, this particular, the new seed generator has a lot of detail on it. Um, this is the queen play. There's plenty around here in this misland. You know, you've got you've got enough. Now, I'm not going to sit here and profess to you that I'm an expert in the Mistlands. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Most of my experience with Valheim is through the plains. Um, Mistlands, I just I, I I tried it. I don't like the Mistlands. And you know what? As a gamer, um, I only play parts. I only play games that I enjoy. And I didn't enjoy the Mistlands, so I didn't I didn't really play it. Now Ashlands, I'm still kind of experimenting with. I don't know that much about it. But that's your queen play up here to the north. Now, you're saying, okay, Karok, well, everyone wants to head south now because that's where the Ashlands is. There's a cup there's one thing that we have to be very clear about in the Ashlands. The Ashlands will always be in the south. They're static. Just like the deep north the, that will always be in the north. Every other biome is random. You know, all of this mistlands could, in fact, be um, mountain plains. It, it's all random. But the Ashlands will always be in the south. So if our best play is to the north to get all the bosses, at some point we're going to have to look south. Here are the fader locations, okay? I'm not going to go through all the resources of which fader is best, okay? What I would tell you is is that 
with boss fights in opening biomes, what you generally want to do is you want to get the smallest biome with the boss, which is over here. Because what it does is, is it allows you to just focus on one area. Okay, you don't, if you have a huge continent that you have to open up, okay, there, there's nothing wrong with that. Valheim is partly an exploration game, but I just want to open up one small area so I know it completely. I can understand the topography, the logistics of the area, get everything that I need out of it in terms of resources, and then I can do the boss, okay? Um, I'm recommending you take this fader over here. By the time you get to the Ashlands, if you play, if you do a full playthrough, it's going to take you some time, anyways. It's not going to be that big of a deal for you to get over here at that point. If you play solely by um, not using any cheats and you're playing completely straight, yeah, it's going to take you a long time to get over here, and you're going to have to sail the whole bit. Um, but this is probably the best fader location that I would recommend. Now, let's take a look at some of the miscellaneous stuff. Um, oh, I didn't want to get rid of the maypole. Totems, seal breaker, we don't need any of that, so we'll get rid of that. And again, I'm just getting used to this new map as well. Rune stones. Where are the piggies? We've got a bunch over here. This is the maypole. You've got one fairly close, which is which is nice. Um, you'd be able to farm those up to get meat, or if you're lucky, if you want to build a really expansive base over here, um, you can enclose that, and they will domesticate. Let's look at miscellaneous. What have we got in here? Shipwrecks, treasures, leviathans. Where are we going to get our leviathans? There's actually not that many over here. Even when we go north, it's not a lot. You've got a whole bunch down here and a bunch over here, but you're not going to really be able to get to that. So for your abyssal harpoon, um, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what to tell you. You're going to have to tell me in the comments below how you think you would play that because I don't have any great advice there. Um, other structures. That's just other structures. It's just like, you know, ruins, etc. Um, don't need to look at that anymore. Boss items, materials, small camps. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so one of the things that they're doing now on this is you're getting um, like the Grey Dwarf Tower. You're going to be able to find out where all of the items are in a particular biome. This could really... You could really do a huge dive into these seeds now and just identify where every single thing is. I'm not going to do that. Uh, Diverger camps, staff divergers, that's really by the queen that we want to look oh, again over here. Here's that Miss Lands. That's good to know. Um, again, this is a pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty good Miss Lands location. There's the harbor. There's there's a Miss Lands excavation site. Not bad. Hostile settlements. Fueling camp. Charred future. We don't really need that. The spawners. Um, we looked at the tar pits. You can even look at gray dwarf nests now, which is pretty good. The burrows. That's for smaller or less important caves, which is troll caves. Now, I use troll caves, as many of you know, to set up portals to travel. Um, it's very easily... It's very easy to put a portal hub in there. I mean, a, a portal and just uh, close it off once you get rid of the trolls. There's one up here by the queen, which is nice. What we really want to see is are there any down here by this fader? One or two. Not bad. Not great, though. What else can I show you? I don't think there's really much else. Um, I think this is a decent location. Um, it, again, it's, this seed is valuable because of where the bosses are located. You're going to be able to run to five out of the seven bosses. Let's see, we've got Ichthyr, Elder, Bone Mass, Motor, and Yagloth. 
that's yeah i mean that's nice so this would be a decent seed for a returning player as well i know that i originally um uh, put this out there as as a as a starter seed for someone who's just you know getting into the game if you have if you're trying to get back into valheim this would be a quick you'd be able to get this base established pretty quickly and you'd be able to run to the first five bosses, which is nice. You'd be able to speed run those and then really invest your time into uh, the Queen and the Ashlands. So what do we have here? We have a really good seat. I think this would be a nine for me, a nine out of ten. This was recommended to me on by somebody on Reddit. Um, I think this would be a decent location. Again, I'm not thrilled that the Maypole isn't on the water. But the bosses in the tra in the Haldor locations near this Maypole make it a good play. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this a seed that you would play on? Is this uh, you think this is a nine out of ten? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you again soon.